Hello, it's Julia, and today we are in Pennsylvania, Little Buffalo State Park. Yep, guys, so it's um, we just started camping this year. It's April 2018. Um, I want to show you one thing today, what happened to us actually yesterday and what you need to be aware of and pay attention to. So um, yesterday, we um, what we did, we actually turned this upper um, lock sideways, right, with the key and we locked the door. Everything that we had was inside. Now, what that does, that actually locks that handle. You cannot open it. You cannot, you cannot do that because it, the, it makes the handle locked. So we couldn't get inside our camper, okay? We called back this camping center because that's where I got our camper from. And we spoke with our sales rep. And what he told us, this is called an M lock. If you look at this, I'm sure um, if you have one, you will see that one of this says that has the letter M on it. And there is a master key that can open it if in case it happens. Some of um, the camping hosts or rangers might have it, some might not. So unfortunately, nobody had it here and we tried to open it if you can see there's some dents in there we tried to open it with different types of keys and it didn't work so what happened was we were very lucky um to have our friends camping next to us and um the camping hosts were so nice uh with the in the rangers too they brought a ladder and here's what happened if you look at our fantastic fan over there on top we always keep it open even in if we, even if it's cold outside because we want to avoid the condensation inside so we keep it open we run the heater um, during the night uh, but we keep it open so what they did they um the camping host brought the ladder and my friend i hold the ladder for him he went over there the park rangers, park rangers brought the um long um metal stick and our keys, and I'm gonna show it to you inside. Come, Julia. What happened was our keys were, and this is our new improvement, were on top of that white shelf here, okay? They were like this. We got a new shelf. I don't shake it too much, okay? So when they went over there, Julia, show it here. From outside, they popped this, um, net out and they put that metal thing here and they were able to pull out our keys if our keys were not there um they wouldn't be able to open it well the, here's the tricky situation come to we just keep our clothes in the shop uh here's the tricky situation we have absolutely everything inside so our car keys our um home keys everything was inside and we couldn't open the door. Now, we were told that initially you're not supposed to be able to do it from outside. Um, I think what we've done is we, um, I don't know what, wh why it happened, why we even played with the locks, because we normally don't. Um, but keep that in mind, make sure your locks are staying this way before you actually close the door with everything inside, okay? If both of them, they both need to be at the same. Um, yeah, don't don't turn it this way. Horizontally, yeah. Make sure they stay like this, because once you lock it, you, it's locked. You, you can't open it. And here is another tricky thing. If you have this bigger eyeliner, you may have this um, underneath compartment that you can open and go and crawl underneath. We don't, we have the simple one. So there's no way of getting in and out. If that vent is covered, uh, like, normal, like normally it would be, there's no way of actually getting access to, to the inside at all. So because our vent was open, we actually did not lock ourselves out of our camper. Yep. and out of pretty much our car and we could have yep. now we can get home yep our only solution would be to call locksmith and probably they would destroy the lock so that, that could be very costly for you okay just just a thing that we learned this time today we have some two new camping improvements we got a mat um, and this actually comes in handy a lot because you come in with dirty feet and they get all over the camper and as you saw we got the shelf and it's just it keeps the ground from getting clumped up with everything and it's, it was harder to pull from under the bed or bags with clothes in them and stuff so now we keep our clothes in here and it's so much more organized so i think that if you're looking to get an airliner you definitely should get a shelf like this okay thanks